tacos from a local taco spot the other night. They were offering free delivery. Uh, so I wish I would have hashtagged that because I really want these businesses to get as much support as they can during this difficult time. Yeah, Jackie, me too. I've been ordering takeout as much as possible. It's delicious and I love supporting our local businesses. So yeah, I definitely would encourage everyone to do that. Well, we're already seeing rain start to move into our region. We see the northwest corner of Clark County seeing that rain right now. And uh, this system you can see situated off of Southern California is going to be working its way toward us overnight tonight, hitting us in the early hours of tomorrow morning. So we see for our valley over toward Red Rock, Summerlin, already starting to see some of those showers passing through. But really, it's early tomorrow morning that most of us are going to see our highest rain chances. We do have a winter weather advisory in place from 11 p.m. tonight until 2 p.m. tomorrow. The possibility of four to eight inches of snow above 7,000 feet um, and also gusty winds accompanying that. Gusts in this region up to 30, even 40 miles per hour. So if you're doing any driving overnight tonight or into tomorrow morning, Highway 157, 156, 158, um, all of those could be impacted because of this snow moving through. Uh, so we do see this system is over Southern California right now. It's going to be pushing toward Southern Nevada overnight tonight. This is shown 8 a.m tomorrow morning right around that time is when we're going to see our highest chances for the valley. So we see 3 a.m. overnight tonight starting to move into Clark County and then really from then until about 7, 8, 9 a.m. That's when we're going to see our highest rain chances for rain in Clark County and then it's going to move east and uh, by the afternoon it should be clear. So we're going to start our day on a cloudy uh, rainy note with some of those sprinkles moving through but then by the afternoon we should be nice and clear. Winds will be picking up up tomorrow though and they really are going to last through the week. Uh, so we can see right around noon tomorrow for Las Vegas sustained winds in that 20 to 25 mile per hour range gusts up to 30 even 40 miles per hour in some regions like I said. So definitely we're going to be feeling that wind tomorrow and it's really going to stick around all week. Temperatures should be fairly similar to what we felt today. We are talking mostly 60s across the board. Las Vegas looking at a high of 66 degrees, some lower 60s into some upper 60s for some regions. But for the most part, 60s are going to be the story for tomorrow and really for the remainder of this week. We are going to see a cool down though. So we have those morning showers tomorrow. Tuesday, we're calming down, warming up ever so slightly. By Wednesday, we're going to start to cool down yet again. Thursday, another system is heading our way. This is bringing slight rain chances. It's not looking too promising as far as rain is concerned, but those winds are going to persist and those temperatures are dropping down into those lower 60s. Then by next weekend, sunshine and 70s do return, Jackie. Sounds good to me, Leah. Thank you.